Saudi Krap and welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mistanza and it's Thursday, August 3rd. Today we have a man stuck under a truck at a Phuket Town bakery and some monkey problems. But first, let's start off with this. Following news that over half of Phuket's tsunami warning towers are out of order, disaster officials are announcing that repairs on all 19 towers on the island have begun. The plan is for all of the tsunami warning towers in Phuket to be operational by the end of August and fix all of the equipment in the six Andaman coastal provinces by the end of October. Still, Chief Chachawan of the Department of Disaster Prevention and Mitigation said that only one of the two tsunami warning buoys anchored some 1,000 kilometers off of Phuket, a critical component of the system. It's operational and repairs are taking place to fix the other boy. And there's a man stuck under this car. They're at a bakery and has happened yesterday morning. Let's explain. An accident took place at Yawara Road at around 1.30 a.m. yesterday in which a truck allegedly ran into the back of another truck, forcing it to crash into a nearby bakery. There were three customers inside the shop at the time, and while two men suffered only scratches, one of the men got stuck under the truck and he suffered chest and ankle injuries. He's currently recovering at a local hospital. Police are still investigating the incident to determine whether any charges will be brought against the drivers of the trucks. And the search to find a new home for Phuket's increasingly dangerous monkey populations continues this week as wildlife experts scour more nearby islands for suitable habitats. So far this week, officials have already inspected some of the islands off Phuket's east coast, including Koh Mali, Koh Payu, and Koh Nam, and they're being surveyed for their natural food and water sources availability. Momentum to transfer the growing macaque population in Phuket has become stronger after a local resident suffered a severe bite in his leg after he was attacked by a troop of monkeys in Phuket town last week. The proposed project would be for officials to move the monkeys to a nearby island all in an effort to stem incidents like those that happened last week. Since the population continues to grow and they're running out of room to live without conflicting contact with humans. And sit tight, Phuket Extra. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Lifeguards are now using physical barriers, plastic ropes in this case, all in an effort to close off sections of popular beaches that they say are too dangerous to swim. Sections of Naiton, Surin, Karon, and Patong beaches have been roped off by lifeguards today, which they believe have dangerous rip currents, and they've done it simply because people keep ignoring the red warning flags. Phuket Lifeguard Service President Pratayut Chuayuan says that Karon Beach at night has the most dangerous rip currents on the island. But he remains disappointed that beachgoers continue to ignore red warning flags, especially after several drownings on the island in the recent months. And it's a not guilty verdict for two former prime ministers and two former top cops who were on trial for the deadly crackdown on anti-government protests back in 2008. Ex-PM Somchai Wong Sawat and his former deputy PM Chavale Yong Chayut were acquitted yesterday by the Supreme Court who in their ruling say that they bore no direct responsibilities for the deaths. Also acquitted were Pacharawat Wongsuwon and Suchart Mungunkao, the former National Police Chief and Metro Police Commander, respectively. The four men were put on trial following the 2014 military coup. And the ocean can be a dangerous place and that's why the Royal Thai Navy here in Phuket recently carried out sea rescue simulations off of Cape Panwa in order to stay prepared. The simulations included the recovery of victims from the water and back onto land, as well as another where victims are airlifted to safety by a helicopter. The Royal Thai Navy 3rd Command performed the exercises earlier this week, all to ensure clear lines of communication and boundaries of responsibility are set for all involved in rescue efforts. Well, that's it for Phuket Extra today. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. This is the Phuket News. This is Novosti Phuketa, the Russian newspaper for Phuket. 
This is Puji Dao Ji Wen, the Chinese newspaper for Phuket. And this is Kao Phuket, the new Thai language newspaper for Phuket, available at over 600 locations across the island. Stay up to date with the latest news in any language. Pick up your copy today. Your island, your paper.